And we're back, Puckett and Landon here for your Scuff 5K today. We were just talking to a few of the players. Naga Fed is gonna hook me up with the invite once the Optic match is ready in round three, so don't worry, guys. Um, also, looking to jump into TKVVV. I was told Sharp should be inviting us soon, Landon, so look for that. ISO versus FaZe going down in match uh, round three. And then, of course, we'll see, is it Corn Clan versus Optic Nation? Killing Spacely and the boys facing off against Owen, or will D&D &D Blue make it through today? If you're going to pull a Dark Horse out of this entire bracket, who do you think is uh, might be a surprise team to watch here, Landon? I've been seeing Optic Nation do pretty well. Uh, I think in the Pro League, they're sitting at like the third spot, right? I think they're like two and one, uh, yeah. but look, look, kind of cheating a little bit. But uh, from what I've seen, they've done pretty well. Like they've had some pretty good strides and uh, they seem to be doing, you know, fairly well at times through tournaments. So I think that they might be my dark horse. I think they can make it pretty far. Um, you know, the, I think the new addition of Mochilla has finally like set in. They finally kind of realized their roles and they've been doing pretty well, I'd say. Right, and, and who do you look at as kind of the strongest player on this Optic Nation lineup? I think I personally, I'm a big fan of Ricky. I think Ricky kind of goes unnoticed at times. He can really go off and no one really knows about it because he's right. doing just about every single other thing. Uh, I think Moch is a big factor. He's just a walking slaying machine uh, as well. So I, I think Moch is, a, is probably one of the better players on this team looking at slaying wise. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think Ricky does everything well also. I've been really impressed by the way Embos has been slaying and respawn yep. recently, but I agree. I think Moch is definitely kind of the key player on this squad when he doesn't go off. They seem to struggle more than any other player on the team. Uh, looking at another squad, I think, you know, I kind of mentioned E6 is dangerous to go through, but I think ISO is really my squad to watch today. And I don't think FaZe, despite how powerful their team is on paper, can just look past Llama God, Havoc, Dito, and, and Silly. This is a team that caused a lot of problems for people, not only at the relegation tournament, but they're already doing it in Pro League as well. Looking like a top contender, even against uh, teams like Optic Gaming. Oh, absolutely. You know, these, these guys have uh, kind of gone unnoticed. You know, Dito kind of made these guys famous, and they ended up finishing, I believe, first in the relegation tournament. Yep. Uh, but, uh, you know, Llama God can go off at times. Havoc is a, is a Don in, in uh, you know, in Search and Destroy. We always seen, we've obviously seen Silly, like, get one versus three is, like, nobody's business. And, you know, Dito's in the back rocking the, uh, the suppressed bow. So, you know. <laughs> And, and it's difficult. so weird. I, I haven't seen the suppressed <laughs> bow from any other player than Dito. Have you seen it in any of the games you've been casting? I've not seen anyone using that. He that believes all. in it. He's like, no one will ever know where I'm shooting them from. Uh, <laughs> Havoc, kind of the explosive player on this team to watch for me, especially in Search and Destroys, known for dropping double digits by now. Silly, kind of the clutch factor, is always there with him. We saw 1v3 in the relegation tournament. During Pro League, he had a 1v4 against TK. Yeah. Bomb diffused as well. Um, definitely a top five play from week one. And then Llama God, he's silently, arguably the best player on this team. He's pretty consistent SMG, can bounce over to the bow at any time. Definitely a lot of potential on this isolation squad. And it's one of the few teams that has stuck together with the same roster for a long while. Everyone else making changes. ISO sticking with their core four and they're finally found themselves into the pro league now. Yeah, I mean, Looking, I mean, their tournament run at the relegation tournament looked like optic numbers. I know they're facing against teams who weren't necessarily the best. I mean, you know, it's a relegation tournament. These teams want to get in the pro league. But looking at some of the respawn numbers, I know that I, th I think, believe like not like Llama God had like a 0 0.86 KD. I'm not sure if that's for sure, but it's something like that. And for them to have one player going, you know, zero have a z having like a 0 0.8 KD and for them to do as well as they have, uh, they've shown some really scary numbers, uh, you know, so far. But I'm looking for them to definitely be a factor. Uh, you know, when it comes into the latter parts of the Pro League and this weekend at uh, UMG Downs. I'm looking through and I'm trying to think if there's any other teams primed for some upsets. Obviously, if you guys are just joining us, Rise, our number five seed, kind of the first to get upset. Um, Mutiny is going to be playing TCM. I don't think TCM is safe in that matchup. Mutiny always a force to be recognized online. Let's take a look at the Mutiny roster for today. It looks like their team of four is going to be Neglect, uh, Reviction, Stringo, and Demise. So, pretty familiar faces here if you watch the relegation tournament. I think Stringo definitely has had some highlight plays. Reviction, not the best land tournament that we kind of expected from him at relegation, but pretty solid plays overall. I don't know if they'll beat TCM, but I have to say TCM watching them in the Pro League, not as smooth as I kind of expected a team with aches and proofy 
to be. You know, it's just, uh, yeah. some legends, some veterans on the same lineup once again. And TCM honestly kind of got blown out on day, their first day of Pro League, rather. Oh, yeah. And I, I think this roster is a little bit awkward, to be honest. Like, looking at this team, uh, you know, Jared Moose, uh, you know, very, very well-known EU players back in the day. I know they've been in the Pro League the last, uh, including this season and last season. But I think the addition of, of, of you know, Aches and Teep is a little bit different for them. Uh, you know, it's kind of like having the, the most decorated duo of all time meeting another duo kind of in a sense. So I think it's going to be a little bit awkward for them off the break. Uh, but, you know, tournaments like these can always help build chemistry. But, um, you know, I want to see them do well. I like this roster and I, I want to see them do work. So hopefully they can, uh, you know, maybe make it pretty far in this tournament. At least I'm hoping. I, I want to see some, some TCM go far. Arbiter, I saw you in the chat asking for a link to the bracket. It's there now for you guys to check out for yourselves. Tell us in the chat, who do you guys think is going to be the dark horse today? Who's making it into our final four and who's making it to the grand finals? Optic Nation looking pretty dangerous in, our, in some recent 2Ks, 5Ks. I like that pick. Definitely be keeping an eye on them. Isolation as well. Who else is going to be able to uh, make it far? Who is going to cause the upsets? That is the question we'll be asking ourselves throughout the day. We're still waiting for round three matches. Epsilon versus Optic should be going down. E6 and Envy will be facing off. That match is official, so Ron, if you can, see if you can reach out to those players for me. Um, also, we're waiting to see RGS versus Elevate. Corn Clan <laughs> potentially against Optic Nation. That's Killa versus his old squad on ON. Then we have, of course, the Scuff 5K Team Caliber team playing VVV in isolation versus FaZe. That is your round of 16. Just waiting for those matches to kick off here shortly. Landon, I, I gotta ask, man. Season 2, kind of expected Optic to win it all at X Games. Were you surprised by the, the rest of the, the teams that came in second, third, and beyond? I was shocked Denial wasn't in the top three, to be honest. Yeah, that was probably the biggest factor for me. Obviously, you know, the world champions, you'd expect them to, to place pretty well. But, um, you know, with them making a roster change, it wasn't like a, a big deal after, you know, not a very good performance at X Games. But uh, to me, for sure, I think that it wasn't really a big deal, you know, seeing Optic Gaming walk away with first. But uh, as far as everything else, probably Denial. I have to agree with you. I think them not placing in the medals after winning a world championship was, was probably the most surprising factor of the entire tournament. I just got into a game. It looks like we are going to be watching Denial, the newly rebuilt Denial, going up against Orbit here in round three. Just trying to get you an invite, Landon, okay. and we will kick off our first set of games on the day. I'm excited about the new Denial, though. I like the old Denial a lot, but after they started kind of struggling, I'd say after uh, Champs, kind of thought Clayster needed something different, needed to mix it up a little bit. I like that he stuck with Attach. But I also really like that Replays is able to rebuild the roster from the ground up, basically, able to bring in really young, talented Slayers. You got Slasher, who is uh, very much an endgame leader. He's a very vocal person, very strong assault rifle. But then you got the youngsters. I think Temp is kind of my star player to watch on this team. At least he was when I was at UMG and for a bit of the X Games. Who's your favorite player on this new Denial squad, Landon? To me, I'm, I'm a big Hook fan, to be honest with you. Uh, I like I like Temp a lot as well, but, uh, you know, they have some really, really good young guns on this team. But for, for me, to, I, I like Temp a lot, but I think Hook, to me, is a, uh, a very humble guy at times, so I like to see right. him do well. But th this roster is really good. I think Slasher, to me, is the main player that I'm looking at, just for the fact that he is, along with replays, you have to have some leadership, along with having two amazing young, te young you know, teammates. Uh, but I think Slasher to me is probably one of my favorites, but I'm, I'm going to say Hook uh, for sure for me. All right, and Landon, I just sent you the invites to the game. So when you hop in here, we will be kicking it off Orbit for those of you guys who may have forgotten. Also another Pro League squad. This is going to be, of course, Burns playing with Facento, who has been an s &D All-Star recently. Uh, you see Accuracy really doing a nice job transitioning to some sub play throughout Season 3 so far and Happy, their dominant bow on the squad. They will be taking on the... the Full denial lineup, replays temp slasher, and of course Hook on today. Landon is in. I'm going broadcast mode. As soon as replays is ready, we will be kicking our first match off. Let's take a look at where this falls in the bracket. Denial orbit is going to be at the very top of the bottom half. They will play against the winner of Optic Nation, most likely, or Corn Clan. <laughs> and then if they're able to win that, get into our final four. They'll be facing off against either TK, VVV, ISO, or FaZe. We're kicking it off right now. 
match number one of the day. It's round number three, Biolab Uplink. As we're jumping right into the action, currently in game number three, the series already in progress. Ron is going to update the score for us. I have a feeling Denial's up. And Ron confirms. 2-0 Denial, Ron? 1-0. I am uh, a monkey. We <laughs> best of three. Uplink is game two. Thank you, Ron. Appreciate that. All right, jumping right into it. Who's your player to start with from Orbit? Oh, from Orbit? I'm going to start off with my man Burns. Burns is normally the guy that's going to be grabbing the Uplink drone. Uh, he's also very good at slang, and he really just, just does just about everything. So I'm going to hop on with uh, with Burns off the break, rocking the ASM1 as normal as uh, we hop into game number two, I believe. Yep, game two. Denial yep. up 1-0. All right, Landon, go ahead. I'll let you take it away on the play-by-play, -play, my friend. Alrighty, man. Hopping in here with Burns, trying to contest a little bit as uh, we hop into game number two. Obviously, currently it is a 1-0 lead. As 3-0 go, go down early on for Denial, Burns currently rocking 2-0 as actually now with that drone, trying to make his way around to get this early point on the board. Could have one player to beat. Goes for the shot. Can he connect with it? He does. Nice. So an early point going in the favor of Orbit as Denial looking to respond. And I think most importantly, Burns has stayed alive this entire time. He's 5-0 off the break, finally going to be taken down, but was able to control blue, keeping Denial outside. That's going to create a lot of room for accuracy. Go for a second toss if he wants. If you look at the minimap, there's really only one defender to stop accuracy from going for a straight throw. They're going to play it patiently, though. You can see Orbit taking their time. They want to go set up for the perfect two. Yeah, like you said, Burns starting off very, very well. 6-1, and one, make it 7-1, and one. really doing very well off the break. Wants to finish this one out. As, as quick as possible, make it on into the tournament. But turns around, gets replays again. Wow. Burns is starting off very well on a three streak. As Happy now making his way through the drone. Hopefully to have Burns make some cover fire for him. But he's going to go for the shot once again. Not able to do so. But we've seen early on Orbit, you know, when they get going, they can just keep this streak alive. Uh, but Denial, to me, is going to have a big factor with how they communicate. Uh, I think, like I said, Slasher is going to be a main factor for me. But... We'll see how they work out. They're obviously, I believe, up in the series as Temp able to put down a point as well. So one to one, three minutes and 20 seconds left on the first side, but pretty even plays thus far. I like it so far, going back and forth. Denial on their first strike was able to capitalize. Now you got replays. He's so good in uplink. And replays is gonna bob and weave and sink it. So two, one, just like that. Denial putting two points on the board in 30 seconds. As you look at the mini map, they also have total control of the drone spawn. Let's go over to Hook, who is applying the pressure. You see it's Slasher setting up behind him. You also have Temp out there watching over Blue. No one's really gonna make a move for the satellite yet, though. They wanna get at least three down. And here's their opportunity. Three players charging over at Blue. Down goes Temp, down goes Slasher. Hook and everyone else rotating over, but it's going to be accuracy with the drone. Here's the shot from Orbit. Yeah, three players coming in. Can accuracy hit the shot? He's going to have a pretty open one, able to connect with that one. Two to two. Two minutes and 30 seconds left in this first side. Burns starting off 15 and four with the drone. Also, does just about everything on the map, like I said. Going to go for the, looks like he missed the dunk, but able to put that one in, able to almost finish the kill. Four to two. Orbit looking very strong off the bat, but. Looks like Accuracy, once again, going to be grabbing that drone. I feel like Accuracy is always the main player to go for the OBJ roll, and Burns is always there with him. But as I say that, Hook trying to get that drone out of there as Denial looking to make a run. I like this rotation. Now you're going to see the Orbit setting up on the defensive end. Can they stop the onslaught? Hook is going to fall. Slasher, last man standing, drone down. So this could turn out to be a counter. We'll see Faceno try and lead the charge. Four up currently for Orbit. Everyone moving forward. Happy with the drone getting stunned up, but surviving. And he's going to go for the two-pointer. Gets cut down from the side. Accuracy is going to fall three down. Burns Ooh. last man, and he is going to fall. So Denial back on a counter of their own. This is the fourth time they've exchanged sides. Yeah, counter after counter. Unfortunately, four down there for Orbit. They might pay for this one. As Slasher just trying to get an open spot. Can he put the dunk in? Does so. Four to four. Slasher doing a very good job as he just does fall. But now, this could be a perfect opportunity for Orbit to come back in the game. While it looks like Denial is surrounding that drone, this could be some perfect opportunities for them to get some points. Uh, we are tied. One minute left on the first side, but still great, great plays, I would say, especially out of Burns. 20 and 7, and we're only on yeah. the first side of comeback uplink. Uh, he's, he's doing he's doing right. He's doing something right in the, in the kill totals. Burns is straight up ripping it right now. You look at him compared to all other players in the game. The next highest is 11 kills. Viseno has it on his side. On the other side, it's Denial Slasher. 
at 11 and 11. Burns just controlling the game with the SMG and you're seeing the one points follow. Accuracy was able to drain that one. We're down to the last 38 seconds. Happy falls at blue. Paceno's over in Biolab, nowhere near the satellite drone. This is gonna be Denial's last attempt and it looks like they're setting up for the pole. Hook waiting to grab that drone. Yeah, so you see that Hook is going to drop. You can see some of the Orbit players looking to rush in here. Burns with that drone might have a pretty easy opportunity to get this point in at the very end. You can see two players around him able to dodge one, oh. tries to punch him in the face, but replays going to walk away with that one. But that drone is left open. Can Facento score it? Does so. Seven to four. Facento able to put in that dunk at the end. And it's going to be a three-point lead after the first side in favor of Orbit. Good stuff from Orbit, and it's all led behind. Burns is 23 and nine. You saw I believe it was accuracy heating up as well. He's gonna finish with 14 kills on our first side. And Orbit with control after our first five minutes will be switching spawns. It's actually Vicento at 14 and 10 as Orbit is gonna win the slang battle by a big margin. That's incredibly surprising to me <laughs> after looking at the firepower of this denial squad. Yeah, man, Burns, Burns is actually the man. He is literally the man sitting at 23 and nine along with two uplinks. Just a Don, I would say. For sure a Don, but <laughs> hopping into the second Straight side. Don. What do you think Denial has to do if they want to come back in this game? I think they got a good side now. Um, they should be able to kind of tack on the one-pointers. Replays is really good at hitting these one-point shots. Rarely do you ever see him miss. Also, the bowels are out now, and I think they'll be able to set up a little bit more comfortably on the defensive end. But already, it's Orbit on the attack. So I'm expecting Denial. They got to start slaying is really the, the short answer to this. Good kill by Hook. Stop the player mid-throw. But there's just too much pressure on the base. Vicento's already going to splash in. 9-4. That took 30 seconds to get their first, first score in. Yeah, that was to me was all accuracy in that play. He's usually the you know the main objective player in this game for, for Orbit. Definitely did it there. Was able to kind of lead that point in for Vicento to put in the dunk. But great plays coming out of Orbit as they are up by about five points. Burns on the run once again with this drone, looking to put in some more points. But just as I say that, you can see the Elvite players trying to line up, trying to hold off this score, scoring opportunity as three of his teammates go down. Burns knowingly going to try to you know, throw that one out, try to reset as the counterattack coming back here from Denial. They want to stay in this game. They don't want to be down as uh, be on board with Slasher. Going to pick up a kill there on Vicento as it looks like Denial actually is going to be losing a little bit of map control. This could be in the favor of, of Orbit now that the drone is coming down. And it's most likely going to be accuracy trying to grab that drone. Burns is just charging in. Slash is going to cut him down. One more player, though, outside. Two were down for each team. No one with control. And that was a big battle outside. Faceno's going to take out Temp. So now Faceno threatening to go for the grab. Burns is picked off from the window. Denial on the push. Slasher leading the charge with the bow. Is really doing a nice job aiming down sights. Yep. And... As we go into the last three minutes of this second side, still score remaining at a five point lead here for Orbit. Burns to be the last one alive, at least for the time being. Oh my goodness, Temp just turns on Burns there as it's going to be replays. Once again, as you said, it's going to be that drone carrier. We're going to see if they can maybe put in a dunk or maybe even just a couple points here and there would mean a lot for this squad. But Ooh. trying to escape is replay is going to go and knowingly reset that armor as he's looking to put in a point, but just trying to wait for his team to slay around him. Player coming through the window, he will drop. So now going to be Burns trying to escape with this drone. He will not be able to do that as now it looks like Denial Slasher trying to see if he can put in a point. Might kind of go for the one point shot as he's just trying to stun these players, trying to get an open shot. Temp is clear house just right now. I've been really impressed by the patience from Denial here. They're waiting for Temp to get the kills. It hasn't converted into points. You got a question, when do you just go for the toss? It looks like Slasher wanted to get it in and he is gonna toss it for one, unable to jump for two. Orbit with total control of the satellite site and you're gonna see blue lock down purple as well. Happy was there, but both accuracy and happy fall. Burns has gotta rotate quick because here comes Denial. Yeah, I've noticed as as Orbit's been down like, you know, three or even four players at times, or even two or three players at times, Burns has always been that player that's been up, and he's been able to hold off the attacks for the most part, uh, you know, even by himself at times. And, you know, the good rotations, the heads-up plays from the Orbit have definitely, to me, held their, you know, held their own. They've been really, they've done a really good job at, you know, just basically being able to just, you know, ready up, size up against this new team of, of Denial, and they've done very well thus far, being up four points with about a minute and 35 seconds left as it looks like it's going to be in their favor, but we can see what's going to happen as that drone is just ready and waiting to be picked up. Facento picking up some kills, as I believe that is Hook trying to grab that drone. Facento doing a nice job here with the ASM-1. Everyone kind of talks about his bow play. 
the man can get it done with the SMG. You see him escaping with his life, still hunting for the player inside of blue. Gonna find it now and won't be able to cut him down. Over to Burns though, Burns has to stop this drone. Can't get to it in time, it's Slasher on the move. A minute and nine, Orbit cannot get comfortable here. Still plenty of time for Denial to do damage and there's just a one point play. That's not even gonna connect. Will he be able to get the rebound? It looks like the drone's gonna reset falling off the map. Yeah, unfortunate plays there. Aaron Denial had a perfect scoring opportunity, just missed the shot there, unfortunately. But just as I say that, replays back with the score. Can he get this drone shot in? Able to maybe knock it there in, he does. Go. So six to nine, 45 seconds left. Can they make the comeback with Slasher only being up? This is gonna be a very big counterattack here coming from Orbit. Yeah, Slasher could shut all this down though. He's on the flank, he's just gotta kill fast enough. Will stop Happy before that ball gets thrown. So, Satellite still in the middle of the map. 30 seconds left, replay is gonna go for one. Tries to get the shot off. Can he connect? He does, so he knocks that one in. Two point deficit. Can they make this comeback with only 18 seconds left? They have to get this drone out now. Only one throw out of the map could make it. Three As down. Now, Temp currently with that drone. Can he get the score? Passes it to his teammate, Hook. And this is going to be a score, most likely. A dunk coming in. Nine to nine. Wow. Looks like we're into overtime. We are headed to overtime. Denial. Able to come back down four points at the end. Ties it up nine apiece. Sloppy, but they get the job done, Landon. That was a great comeback. I'm not gonna lie. I asked you what do they have to do on this next side to come back, and they they did exactly that. You know, they they played pretty patient, and uh, they ended up making it work for them. And you know, they they clutched up, got a nice dunk at the very end by Hook, I believe. So mm -hmm. over time, gonna see who can uh, maybe take this one out. I want to give replays a lot of credit as well. He went for that one pointer to put it within one possession. Then he slayed. He picked up two more kills, bought his team some time to get that drone and push it in. So big plays by the captain as Replays is going to be leading the charge over to the drone site. He's going to challenge top purple. Big fight, and he's going to open it up with a nice win. Now going for his second. He shut down by Faceno. Yeah, currently going to be on board with Burns. He's really been the, the main talk of this game. Uh, he's currently 36 and 21, almost yeah, dropping plus the 40 15. bomb, sitting in purple. Picks up Temp as uh, no one's really gone for the drone yet. Pretty passive play thus far. Oh my god, Burns just turns. Can he get the third? This does fall there inside bottom purple, but pretty good plays thus far. I'm looking to see who can get this for, you know, they have, no one's really picked up the drone yet, so pretty passive play, like I said. Need to get that drone out. You need to get this point early on if you want to win this game, and especially in overtime, it means so much to get these early shots in because you only get one shot to do so, so we'll see what goes on. Facento now going to be the only one left up. Four down. This is a perfect opportunity for Denial to get on the board here early. And you see the passing lanes open. Temp, though, going to try and bull rush his way in. Happy shutting it down with the foul. Big hold on the defensive end. Faceto from middle of the map also causing damage. Slash is going to try and fight from Biolab. Drone is out, but Happy is going to be able to clear it here. Yeah, Happy really does just about everything on the map we want him to do. He's a great slayer, can also do some of that, um, you know, that objective or supportive work as oh, well. Has a perfect opportunity to get the score down. Three players down for the Denial Squad, and this is going to be a dunk here for Happy, able to put it in. Minute and 23 seconds to beat. I'm, I don't know if that's going to be a hard one. You know, we've seen in the past Uplink Biolab, you know, be a, a factor for some teams that are able to put in early scores. Uh, but a minute 23 seconds, that's, that's definitely doable. Definitely doable. A bit of time, you can fail your first rush and still capitalize on your second. Very impressed, by the way. Happy stayed alive. A nice cover fire from Facento and Burns there to get that last dunk in. A minute still to work with, and you see Orbit. They're just playing for ball control. Not going to go for it themselves. All they have to do is keep Denial off of it for 50 more seconds. Yeah, oh, looks like Accuracy able to take out Hook there with the, looks like the stun grenade. Uh, but you know, you're just gonna see Orbit try to park the bus, as they would say. Just try to hold these, you know, hold down in a defensive way. Looks like accuracy, just trying to hold down some time uh, near that drone site. Able to pick up one there over on Temp, as they're gonna drop some players. Some big gunfights going down, but Orbit able to, for the most part, hold off some of these players. As you're gonna see Slasher now on the drone, happy, able to clean him up. 30 seconds left. Denial has to make a run now if they want to come back. Denial feeling the pressure. All bows out currently for your red team, Orbit, as they're looking to maintain their lead. 20 seconds left, that's all they need. Hook making his way. Slasher trying to get the cover fire, jumping across the middle of the map. Down goes Slasher, Temp rotating over. Hook, only one near the satellite though, needs to get the drone right now and go for the pass. Five seconds left, four seconds left. Gets to the top crane, running out of time. There's no time for the pass. This game is done. Orbit is gonna force a search and destroy. 
Yeah, that drone never even left the respawn until about five seconds left until Hook was able to grab the drone. So great defense coming out of orbit there, able to force game number three as we're going to head to some search and destroy. Burns dropping 42 and 28 along with two uplinks. Burns is the man. I got to yeah, say I'm that. Writing, Burns I'm writing 42 and 28. Not a bad <laughs> start, Burns. All right. 1-1. One, one, denial and orbit. We're going to a game number three, guys, after this commercial break. Don't go anywhere.